let's start morphography again with the process uh, stock and not original stock. Yeah, we load the stock. Check the stock orientation is not correct. So canvas, reverse axis, and now it's correct. Go to main to see that we have main and work stocks in the opposite direction and now we need to copy the work to the main so go to process uh, multi stock copy work to main stock and now we have everything uh, in uh, correct uh, or orientation now let now we will perform um, some filtering on this uh, Gaussian blur stock one time and then we detect the surface by go to morphology as detect and from our appearance 4000 will be good you see it's very good and it's much smoother uh, compared to the last try uh, we can feel home okay so so we have a problem here with this um, trichome um when we detach the surface uh, all this uh, area between the trichome and the surface is filled and but we don't need that right it's not correct so and we don't need to quantify the growth of trichome so we can actually we can remove all the surface here using this tool that we have on top and you have here voxel edit so you select it and then you press the Alt key on the keyboard and then you uh, erase all the uh, voxel here yeah so you can use the scroll um, to zoom to zoom in uh, to have a, a more precise erase erasing uh, of the surface okay I think it's good enough now the trichome will not be our problem anymore excellent now this one remove this one as well this one is not not important okay good okay now we have very good um, surface detection now we will create a mess on top of this surface to go to mesh and creation matching groups surface as you want to select matching groups surface and not matching groups 3d because we want to do surface uh, segmentation and not uh, uh, volume segmentation so here you have group size 5 micrometer threshold 5000 so select the default values and press the green button run you see that you have uh, another layer in white on top of the blue um, surface and it is the mess that you just created to show all the lines and all the points the vertices of the mess we come we go to the main and mess pick on it and all now you have the the mess with all the points on it um, so the mess look a little bit uh, rough we can um, smooth it by go to process mess and um, structure so it means structure of the mess so smooth mess here you have some parameters like passes one and goes only no so we're going to come to this later but for now just keep them in this uh, default values Passes one means that one 
when you press the button, it do one time of smoothing. For example, here one time, and here another time. So now we have a mess with a lot of points, and uh, it means that the size of file will increase, and the computer will uh, we need more time to process all the all the processes. So we can remove all the unnecess unnecessary mess. For example, we just want to do segmentation on the simple and not at the bottom. So we can remove it. Uh, here as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when you are uh, mani manipulating the position of the stock and mask, uh, you can double click on it. Uh, so that it will c go to a right position. For example, I double click here. Here you see. For example, here you see. There's a quick way to uh, rearrange the the stock and the message. Okay, I think I can remove um, this message well. Ah, I forgot to tell you to re to delete the mess. You select this tool on the left select points in mask and then you press the alternative key or key on the keyboard and then you select all the selected mask uh, will be in red and you can delete by pressing the delete key okay i stop here i don't want to delete um, the mess of the on the simple so uh, i think we need to smooth the mess uh, some time more uh, now we can go to subdivide it's a quick quicker way to create more points on the mesh you see a lot and then smooth mesh I usually do subdivide two times and then I smooth several times so the way I do is that first I do two smooth one subdivide one smooth one subdivide and then one smooth uh, it depends on the sample. If the sample is big, you um, probably just need one subdivide and two smooths. Mm. But if the sample is small, we can uh, afford to do a sub, two subdivides and several smooth mess. Uh, but you can test uh, with the sample to see what is best. Okay, now we have a mess with a lot of uh, vertices. Now we can project the signal on the mass to have the um, uh, cell contours. So to do this, we need the signal from the main stock, the original stock. So we tick it on main. We need the surface, uh, which is white here. And we need to untick the mass here. Now we go to process mass signal and process signal uh, so the important uh, parameters here are mean distance and max distance it means that it's um, the minimum distance from the uh, mass surface and the maximum distance from the mass surface uh, for example if you um, if you want to uh, process the signal that are immediate from the mass uh, you can put the value go uh, 0 and 2 micrometer for example so all the signals that are from 0 to 2 micrometer away from the mass will be projected let's see what happened we see that the signal is not very good because there's because of all of the um, mem membrane uh, signals are projected on the mass but we don't really need that we need to project the a cell wall signal so uh, you can change this by go deeper like fr from 2 to 6 micrometer and you see the immediate difference uh, when we choose the good uh, distance uh, from the mass and we can see that the, actually the signal here are not very smooth the mass are not very smooth at all so we can even come back and um, smooth the mass or further like I do one more subdivide and smooth it 
and come back to do uh, uh, project signal again so signal project signal uh, uh, from 2 to 6 micrometer see that cell was are now smoother uh, compared to last time uh, sometimes cells are rocks here uh, probably because of the way um, um, the um, microscope took image this uh, let's try again yeah you can um, you can try with different depth uh, of projection to see what is best and when you um, are happy um, you can yeah next images you can keep the same um, uh, depth of projection uh, so let's try so yeah so I think uh, for this sample I will keep mean distance 2 and max distance 4 micrometer so you know I'm very clear here okay now we have a uh, very good um, mass and uh, signal projection on the mass you can see uh, cells was uh, very clearly now we can do some segmentation segmentation means that um, the detection of, um, of cells uh, we can uh, drop the main we don't want to show the main uh, or main stack the original stack anymore and now we just work with the mass with all the signal on the mass here now we go to process, um, segmentation, and then um, auto seeding. Auto seeding means that for it will detect all the local um, local maximum, I think, on the on the mass, and then it add um, one on seed for each uh, local maximum or minimum of the value. Yeah, and here uh, you see that. Um, um it might for big cells it might add um, three or four seeds uh for small cells it adds um, one or two seeds as uh, you can uh, even change the radius um here if you see that uh, it's not uh, appropriate for example here i can change the radius into uh, like uh, three micrometer to see what happen Uh, I think it is it's better because um, some cells here are direct, are detected correctly. Okay, uh, if you are happy with this, we can go further and do water set segmentation. So, so it in the water set segmentation from the seed, the software will uh, fill. Uh, the area with the corresponding uh, uh, color until it reaches the cell wall and it stops. Let's see. You can see it in real time here. Okay, so now we can show the cell walls by going to main, mass, and select not all but cells. Now you can see some cells. So if we want to see the mass uh, together with the surface, we can go to the surface here and uh, choose different options. For example, here you can see the voltage. You can choose the voltage here. We see that there is some problem with uh, this uh, cell segmentation because uh, this cell is uh, divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six smaller cells. Others other cells are detected correctly, for example, all these uh, small cells. So there is a quick fix for this, and it's very helpful. Here, you go to process, mass, segmentation, and combine labels. Um, so what is label? So each of the color here is a label, and each label has its own number. So now, because we have, for example, these cells, is divided into um, too many small cells and we need to combine all the labels into one so we go to process mass segmentation combine label so let's try with uh, so you can so the important parameter here is threshold 
you can try with this uh, uh, this um, value and see what happens. And before doing this, we need uh, to save the mess. So in more for graphics, you cannot undo or go back to the previous step, but um, we can save it along the way. And so we save it uh, like C one T zero mess, and uh, we can put it raw. And now we can do combine labels. The double click or press on the green button to see what happened. Yeah, after this step, all the labels within this cell is now combined into a single label corresponding to to that cell in um, in real life. This step usually works very well, but sometimes you need to adjust the um, threshold value. Okay. Uh, it 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 looks very good already, but there's still some uh, um, some mistake here. For example, here now we can combine the labels uh, manually. For example, we can uh, uh, so to do this, we go to this uh, left panel, press on this pick label, and then you press the R key and right mouse to select. Uh, oh, on on salmon here, you see that the color of the salmon will appear here. We know that we are working with this, and then you select the fill label to click on it, and then holding the R key and then uh, press the left mouse to fill the label here to all the other um, segments we want. And we can check it in action. Um, to make it, to make it easier, you don't need to uh, show all the cells. We can select the vertex, and we can do exactly the same. Select the big label tool. Hold R key and um, click on it. So, and so for example, I click, I select this one, and you see that it's blue. And then I fill the value of this label to this one, and yeah, now this now the two are combined into one. Do it with every other um, oh, cell left. It's it it's very good. So we don't need to do a, a lot of a manual correction. So if we want to check um, if the cementation is correct, we can uh, show the mint and then we can uh, we can yeah. So cell cell is cell wall here and it missed here, so we can uh, add a cell wall here. We we do it by uh, select the fill label, select on the label color. Click on it, and now it there's no color here. And now we can remove this label. So you remove this label by pressing the R key and left click, and then you can see this by uh, select the add new seat, and then you can draw along the cell wall. For example, here. So this segment will be uh, re-segmented into two cells this one and this one and i want to guide the software to do segmentation along this cell wall and when we add these two cells we can go to process mass quarter set segmentation and then you press the button and now you have a new cell wall yeah very good if you need to do some more segmentation on this um, area, we can do it manually as I just showed you. Need, first, we need to remove all the label, and then we add the seeds. We can check it with the uh, yeah, original stock as well. We may here. Yeah, so. Um, 
in this area the star signal is quite bad so we cannot do a lot of work here but anyway if you want you can still guess which is where is a cell and where is not and yeah draw the the seeds along the the cell wall um, Simple here and here and here. So when we finishing drawing the the seeds for new cells, we have to to um to limit all these seeds in this small area by um, drawing a line along them. We do this for all the others. So this this area this area looks good, but when we can yeah, for example, one more cell here. One more cell here, and one more cell here, and draw a line here. Yeah. So if we don't draw this line, um, this is will propagate to all the uh, to all the places. But by drawing this line, we limit its um, propagation to this small area. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Some cell in the Cell in the tip, yeah. Cell in the tip usually are not well cemented, but, but then we can have the software. I think there's a bit cell here, okay. And then we go to process what the cell cementation. So if the process is selected, we don't have to select it anymore. We can just press the run button. We can check the accuracy. Yeah, usually cells as a tip are more difficult to um, to segment. But but overall, I think it's good. The segmentation is excellent. We can remove all the um, all the labels that are not corresponding to um, to good cells. It's not uh, mandatory. You can keep all the um, all the label on the mess, but you can clean them if you uh, want to. So yeah, so yeah, just to clean them you uh, select the few label be sure that there's no color here if there is color here you have to click on it so that the color is removed and then you press O and then right click uh, left click on it and the color or the label will be removed oh yeah for example here okay so I think the segmentation is finished and it looks quite good. Now we save it. Now we can uh, mask and save. So the find is here and we can over OK to um, override it. I uh, change it one more time. So now we have finished. Uh, segmentation we can do some uh, quantification for example I can uh, show you how to do uh, cell area quantification so we go to process mass and heat map and here the two measures 2d because we are working with the uh, 2d mass and here you have a lot of uh, processes uh, to choose from like geometry Lobbiness 
um, location, also network and signal. So here we are working with geometry and area. So we can uh, select it and press OK. And you see um, the area of cells will be calculated and a uh, heat map is displayed together with a um, uh, heat map scale. To save it, um, so you choose process heat map and heat map save. And uh, we can uh, do like simple day one cell area. Yes, and we you can come and check it. Here you have the label and the value. Uh, should be in uh, micrometer square. There is another method to calculate uh, cell area. It's a heat map classic. And here you have heat map type area, uh, geometry, and you click on it. You check geometry here. And here, change the file. So I simple day one cell error method two and press OK so we can come go and check it um, open it and we can open the first one as well and we can stable and value here so the second method uh, has more parameters like label value areas and value are the same it has also the cell center but basically the results are identical okay so you can also calculate for example um, aspect ratio uh, process mass heat map geometry aspect ratio to see and here you can see the aspect ratio of cells uh, with the uh, color color scale. So this cell, for for example, is the roundest, and this cell is very very elongated, so it's in red. Okay.